Covering the theater shooting trial, we are in the middle of one of the most important phases of the entire trial. It's the defense team's turn to tell the jury why their client should live and why his crime spree was the result of mental illness. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart is live with more on this. This was a critical day, Mark. Very critical, and because the only mission of the defense team during this entire trial is to convince jurors the gunman had no idea what he was doing was wrong. And that is why today's testimony was so important. Morning, doctor. Good morning. You could call Dr. Raquel Gurr the defense team's most valuable witness. Her testimony could not be more important. An expert on schizophrenia, she's on the record as saying that gunman was insane during the shooting spree inside the Century 16, a point she made again today on the witness stand. Render him not capable distinguishing right from wrong. Whether the gunman knew the difference between right and wrong will determine if the jury finds him not guilty. Dr. Gurr is the defense most important witness by miles. Gurr was hired by the defense to interview the gunman. They met six separate times after the shooting. She reviewed his notebook and a CAT scan of his brain, even comparing him to Unabomber Ted Kaczynski because of their delusions and high intellect. Most people do not produce extensive writing. Was uh, Ted Kaczynski with his bizarre delusions who had a similar level of intellectual functioning. All part of an effort to show mental illness took over, controlling the gunman's actions. Their case comes down to Dr. Gurr and whether the jury buys her opinion. That as prosecutors spend time questioning Dr. Gurr's credibility, the trial is coming to a quick finish with closing arguments expected to begin on Monday. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News.